Everybody said I should do this, so I finally did it. And they finally came after three months almost, but there they are. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Nice. There will be no guessing who's rig we are. Yep. Win now. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> How many different hunt rigs have you had? That old Jeep there we had when Jeff got his the captain there, that old green Jeep. And that was a ninety a ninety-six. And then we had the other green Jeep, the Grand Cherokee, which was um, well, like a 99. Then my red truck. And then we went to this Suburban. Um, before that, we basically rode with Jeff and you. <laughs> I had to get it mounted and I think I met you the year before because I shot a doe and had you mount a doe for me. That old doe with no teeth. <laughs> you said you thought I did her a favor. <laughs> she was old. Yeah. Yep. Sensing, I don't think. You got all posted up when we dragged out a couple bucks. <laughs> we didn't have radios or nothing. And I come to a, come when I got to the logging road, somebody else was dragging the deer out. And I said, huh, well that came from where the, the nephew was hunting. And I come around the corner and they were sitting on a log and you couldn't see their deer. And I said, hey, did you guys get a deer? Yeah, Gordy shot a nice six. I said, well, I got an eight. He's like, no, you didn't. I said, yeah, I did. It's right here. And they come running over. And he said, well, Gordy's rack is bigger. <laughs> and it was. Gordy's, you could put my eight-point rack in, inside of Gordy's six-point rack. So we had a good day. Dragged those things out. We come out the road, and there were four or five people driving by while we were trying to get them in a the rig. So we had a crew, crew stop and see us. We were back in the rig by 9 o'clock. <laughs> Which of your deer rifles is your favorite? I don't know. I like the one I'm lugging. It's light. Uh, Remington Model 700 with a laminated stop. Stainless steel. Oh, I got a Ruger 30 6 that I shot my 10 point with in Ontario. I got a Husqvarna. Oh, six that I shot my first deer with. I haven't used that in years. It's kind of heavy. Probably should start lugging that thing. Shot me. That thing shot a lot of deer. Like, I got it from my cousin because he missed a deer and he was pissed, pissed at it. And I, I bought it from him and shot my first deer with it. And then he wanted it back. And I said, well, I kind of like that gun. <laughs> and it has a lot of notches in it where some old guy he got it from had shot a lot of deer with it. I haven't used it in years. Kind of got a crappy scope. Probably should buy a new scope and start using that. But 270 I shot a deer with. That's going to laminate a stock. 
I just get busy in the summertime, don't have time to mess with them, so I stick with what I know. <laughs> Plus I have a reload for this Hot 6 and it works pretty good. So I stick with that. I am looking for a 7mm mag like yours if anybody's got one for sale. <laughs> Sat there on the shelf for years and never thought nothing of it. And then B was lo looking for one, and I said, Well, there's one over here. <laughs> yep. So B went and got that one. And I don't think I've seen one for sale since. <laughs> This is how I hunt, slow and easy, and bare ground hunting. I like to go, try to stay where it's quiet as best I can. I like to go up old log roads, bulldozing roads, or just through the woods where you can be quiet on game trails or whatever. Just poking along, going easy. That's about the speed I got, it's easy. I like to poke along, and just keep your eye out. Look for movement all the time. Look for little pieces of something. Look for a little, look for a horn, look for an eye, look for a nose, leg, tail. Sometimes they're just sleeping there. Some deer will let you, let you walk up to them. Some ain't never gonna let you see them. You never know. You guys gotta keep going. Enjoy what you're doing. I like to go Places. Like today, I'm in woods I've never been in. Sometimes, sometimes uh, you get yourself in a crap hole and you don't ever want to go back there again. And then next time you're following a deer and it takes you right through that same spot, and you're like, oh, I'm in for, to trouble now. And then the deer just weaves right through and takes you right through, and it's like nothing. It's like the deer know where to go. <laughs> Freaking spike corn. <laughs> he was as good as dead, but freaking spike corn. <laughs> Do that with a big buck. He was right there 20 feet. <laughs> Always got to be brushing away. I guess that tipper can works. I'm gonna try that with a big one. <laughs> well, see if we can get a big one on film like that. <laughs> Odds are it'll be on the ground first. <laughs> All it needed was an inch for it. Didn't have it. Vermont, you need an inch for it. You gotta have two on one side. way it goes. <laughs> hey, at least I saw something. And that was right up in personal. I ain't had a deer buck that close in a long time. 
that one last year, but it weren't that close. <laughs> I had to wait a while for it to come around that tree, but I didn't dare to move. <laughs> All right, well, that was cool. And I will leave the biggest butt of my life to go help Beaver pull a spike horn. And that's just the way I am. If you get a deer, I am. A, I will turn right around and head to your coordinates. <laughs> I have just as much fun helping other people get their deer out. So, and that's the way it is. <laughs> Good luck to y'all. Hope you all get a giant. See ya. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. <laughs> Ever found a lost soul? Hey, very <laughs> nice. I guess I guess you win for the day. Oh, yeah, hang it up. That's where it's gonna live. Yep.